Okay, now for the June 2019 P1 paper from well, just last June. This is the second P1 paper that um, was produced. And um, I'm going to go through this paper question by question. I'll start with question number one. Question number one is about differentiation. They give the equation of a curve. Y equals 1 eighth X cubed minus 24 over root X plus 1. And we've got to find dy dx, giving the answer in its simplest form. That's part A. Now, in order for us to differentiate something or to integrate something, we need to get it ready to be differentiated or integrated. So in order to get something ready for differentiation, what we must do is make sure that the um, letters are written in index form and in the numerator. So the x here, which we have to differentiate, um, the 1 8 x cubed and the minus 24 root x. The 1 8 x cubed is fine. That's written in index form and as a numerator. We can deal with that fine. But the 24 over root x, we have to write that in index form, not in third form, and with the numerator, um, with the x in the numerator. So this is going to be 24 times. Now x root x is x to the power of half. As a numerator, that will be x to the power of negative half. That comes from the rule that a to the power of minus m is the same as 1 over a to the power of m. Okay, and also from the rule that the square root of a is the same as a to the power of a half. Okay, so it's written in index form and it's now written as a numerator and you've got your plus 1 at the end. So dy dx, differentiate with respect to x, you multiply by the power, so that becomes 3 over 8, and you take 1 from the power, so it becomes x squared. And here you multiply by the power, so minus a half times minus 24 is plus 12. And you take 1 from the power, so it becomes x to the power of negative 3 over 2. Minus a half and minus 1 is like minus a half minus 2 over 2, which is minus 3 over 2. Okay, and when you differentiate a constant, it becomes 0, so you don't write anything there. Because, um, you know, we can think of it in the two ways. y equals 1 is like going to be a straight line horizontal, the gradient is 0, or if you think about it, this is the same as 1x to the power of 0. When you multiply by the power, you get 0, so the whole thing becomes 0. Anyway, so that's dy dx, that's part A complete. Okay, so giving the answer in its simplest form, that's perfectly fine. If you want to be a bit extra, you could write this as plus 12 over x to the power of 3 over 2 if you want to. But both of those are perfectly acceptable as answers. Okay, that's part A. Now, part B says the point P43 lies on C, which is the curve defined by this equation here. Find the equation of the tangent to C at the point P. So the equation of the tangent to the curve C at the point P. Okay, and write your answer in the form y equals mx plus C. So if you want to find the equation of the tangent to the curve at point C, Okay, um, now the tangent to a curve is a straight line. And a straight line is in the form y equals mx plus c as I wrote here. In order for you to find the equation of a tangent, you need two things. You need a point on that tangent, which you know is p. So p4 minus 3. So we've got the point on the uh, curve, on the, on the tangent, and we also need to have the gradient of the tangent. Now the gradient of the tangent is going to be given by um, substituting the value of x of the point P into the gradient function. This dy dx is the gradient function. It tells us the gradient of the curve at any point that we want to find it. So we want to find the gradient when x equals 4, because at P x equals 4. So when x equals 4, the gradient of the tangent of this curve is going to be 3 over 8 times 4 squared plus 12 over now this means x to the power of 3 over 2 means the square root of x cubed okay so this is the square root of 4 cubed all right so this will give you 3 over 8 times 16 plus 12 over, now the square root of 4 is 2, and 2 cubed is 8, so that's 12 over 8. Okay, so this, if you calculate the value of this, it will give you 3 over 8 times 16, 
Okay, that's going to give you 2 times 3 is 6, plus 12 over 8. 12 over 8, which is 4 over, which is 15 over 2. So 15 over 2 is a gradient of the tangent, okay, of the curve at the point P. So now we have a point on the curve, on the tangent, sorry, and we have the gradient of the tangent. So P, 4 minus 3, and the gradient of the tangent is equal to 15 over 2. So we can say that the equation of the um, tangent is y minus y1 equals m times x minus x1. So you have y minus minus 3 equals m, which is 15 over 2, times x minus 4. So you end up with y plus 3. y plus 3 equals 15 over 2 minus 15 over 2x, sorry. 15 over 2x minus, now 15 over 2 times minus 4, the 2's cancel with the 4, you're left with minus 30. Okay, so that's like 15 times minus 2, which is minus 30. So y is equal to 15 over 2x minus 33. You have to subtract 3 from both sides. And there we have the answer to that question in the form required y equals mx plus c so you have to write it with y as a subject of the formula okay so there's the answer for question number one um, a and b